Hello everybody, this is Magnum Pi. I'm here with Dark Templar, Vahilo Teku, and Golgotha, and we are Initiative Zero. This is the Second City Chronicle. It's uh, the next episode in our Tale of Two Cities story, the second story of the Second City Chronicle. And um, yeah, we're so happy that you could join us. Uh, if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. We really appreciate you. If you're not, hey, why not become one and just hit that subscribe button? It's super easy. And uh, if you hit the bell, you'll be notified of when we have new episodes coming out. Um, yeah, but uh, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. And we're going to get right underway here with um, the next episode in this chronicle. And uh, when we last left off, the group had reconvened at Vinny's garage to kind of just hash through their clues and uh, dig a little deeper into the things that they've got to work out. Uh, Vinny and Elliot took off to the mall just as the sun was setting to uh, follow up on some clues about Karen's whereabouts. And Christopher and Grayson decided to head back to the library to do a little bit of research. And Christopher and Grayson, you guys are at the library, the University of Chicago library, the Regenstein? Um, yeah, well, the one that uh, Christopher works at. Yeah, okay. So at your university. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, we'll start with you guys. And you guys make it there. By the time you get there, the sun's almost set. and um, But you guys still have access. Again, it's it's the middle of March, right? So um, almost equal amounts of day and night. And yeah, you guys get into the library. And what is it that you want to do? Well, let's uh, go to the section on the supernatural that uh, that exists in the library. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, religion and it's, paranormal it, things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I I figure starting with just a. Have I have I fully described what it was? Like we saw to you, as far as uh, her injuries and her state of affairs. So I'm going to assume. Can I assume that they they did in the in the off time? Yeah, you can. Um, you know what? Yeah. You, do you oh. but do you Golgotha understand? What they saw? Do I Golgotha understand? Yes, I, I Golgotha does understand. Does does Grayson understand though? If, based if, upon the discussion, and... if they explained it to you, then we can yeah. say that Grayson is aware okay. to the degree to which you are yeah. aware. Yeah. 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 Okay. So with that, I would ask you, Grayson, if there's anything that springs to your mind, given your expertise in the subject, that well, would be a good starting point for. Well, um, you know, that kind of a natural healing is something that uh, uh, could exist in a number of different uh, uh, cultures and their mythology. Um, I mean, of course, you know, the the legends of, of European legends, of course, the uh, lycanthropy. I mean, that's that was something that was very much endemic. There also vampirism, although that's obviously a dead, a dead creature an un, or an undead creature. Um my my cult isn't super strong, but uh, you know, in terms of religion, that's that's kind of where I lean. Okay, so that might not be the worst collection of places to start then, because I mean, again, as we said, if we get out here and just start looking up random occult, we're going to be here mm -hmm. quite literally forever. So I figure I'll, we could start with uh, you know a. Uh, kind of an overview of, 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 you know, religions and mythologies that deal with that kind of, uh, you know, unnaturally fast healing, essentially. So yeah. what are some, like, again, uh, like anthropy, again, we look at the Sumerians, we look at the Babylonians, we all, all go through ancient, you know, civilizations, you know, the Greece, the Rome, uh, into the, Chris you know, medieval to plays over a bit. So just, <laughs> I'm kind of nodding along like, yep. Okay. Yep, the Babyl definitely the Babylonians. Got a, yep. Yeah. Possibly the Akkadians too. The Akkadians have some very fascinating myths when it comes to this kind of a concept. And I'm going to kind of gesture him in the direction that we're going. <laughs> you start oh, pushing yeah. him along. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. And yeah. so, um, oh, so this is going to be. Really Sorry. Say again. Sorry. What? Oh, sorry. He's going to. I'm just carrying on. Like, oh, and the Elamites have something really. Yeah, I guess I'm going on with like this rant because he's kind of ushering me towards the area. I'm I'm getting super excited, my character. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm... Like research is his jam. 
I cannot I cannot reasonably say that he's as excited for this part of it, but All right. Yeah, no, we're we're getting there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say that this is this is really an occult check, not an academics check. Okay. Oh, you're you're man. digging you're digging into the occult. Um you have now Christopher, you have access to a library, but it's an academics those are academics dots. So um I'm going to give you a bonus of the fact that you are in a library. Um, to that, I'm going to say that you're going to um, probably just have a plus one bonus, both of you on your roll. Um, but that's really the extent of it. It's going to be an occult roll, and it's going to be intelligence plus occult. And um, really, I'm going to say that you need, um, you're looking for, again, be specific about what you're looking for. All right, right now um, we're going to look for information on 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 kind of um, mythological creatures or, or, or legendary creatures or supernatural creatures uh, of which healing in a very quick manner is is a feature. Okay, rapid healing, but you're looking to to really deduce. Like yeah, you, I mean, you could you could easily I mean, you could easily wrong. figure out something. I mean, we could as a bunch of nerds, right? Easily yeah. figure that out with oh, the yeah. internet. You're, I'm assuming you're trying to find something conclusive, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think we can probably narrow it down just in the conversations we've had, the monstrous descriptor we were given, and our respective sort of superficial understanding of the occult and run with werewolves as a or were creatures as a theme right because... we could also i was going to say we could also look at it in the more contemporary sense so maybe any any contemporary stories over the past maybe 50 years of of uh you know similar similar stories or similar incidents that have occurred yeah like were bears or were rabbits or were houses were rabbit like that as opposed to a rare rabbit. <laughs> okay. Here are we, folks. Tell, tell me the dice pool, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, so I'm assuming that the results of this are going to be a conclusion that you guys have figured mm -hmm. it out. So it's, um, it's going to be intelligence plus occult because occult is the skill that you want to use for those things that, that allow you to determine the difference between um, just, superstition and myth uh, and occultic reality, right? What is actually mm -hmm. the case? So it's intelligence yep. plus occult. Um, I'll give you each a bonus die for being in the library. Who would have the higher pool there? I suspect uh, you would. I've got, so I'll have, let's see. Um, I have Spoiler. intelligence four. You, you win. Yeah. yeah, okay, so yeah. So I've got... Uh, How do you have uh, intelligence four? Easy. Yeah. Go. Yeah, I'm a smart smart cookie so okay. intelligence for occult one and uh bonus so that makes six okay uh okay. i might throw a willpower at it oh i'll do that too that's a good idea yeah okay so christopher so, will still roll first then and the successes yep. from that will add to grayson's and so what you need to get is um okay one whole success all right, so yeah. Um, yeah, what you need to get is uh, I'm gonna say you're need, gonna need to get um, seven total successes, and every roll is an hour's worth of of research here. Okay. All right, so that is one plus three is four and five. So I got five modifiers. Cool. And I'm going to. Intelligence plus a cult. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Oh, okay. Not that yeah, that's that's good. Okay, that's the first hour. That seven kills me because that, that exceptional would have been really handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that first hour. You guys can continue for another hour if you like. I'm just going to say Christopher has a clue that totally pertains to this. You could It, it has a succinct, single success, so it's completely able to be... Um, used to solve the mystery of Karen's disappearance, but you can also use it to give you a bonus dice 
for this particular set of research because it's applicable. So, yeah. or you could give that clue to Grayson and he can use it. It's up to you what you want to do with it. If you do choose to use it for this research, it, that you can't then use it to solve the mystery of missing Karen. But it's up to you. Uh, I might keep that in my pocket to deal with Karen later. Okay. Which sounds more ominous than it needed to, but nonetheless. <laughs> deal with her later. I understand. Like, what are the chances that on, like, what is that, like, seven die, I'm going to get another single success? I'm, I'm confident that... That's not exactly how numbers consistently work. So it'll and turn yet, around. We're and gonna, yet, we're gonna, we have defied yeah, yeah. the odds we're gonna consistently. It, we're going we're gonna to pull it back around and land on a zero, I'm pretty sure. That's the so, name of the channel. Come on. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be fine. <laughs> All right. So you're going to go... You're going to go for another you're going to go for another hour. So again, we're looking yeah. at Grayson's total, which is four successes right now. Mm -hmm. Second verse same as the first. Okay. Uh, another point of willpower at a plus 4. There. See, that's like a massive improvement except for that is a lot of ones. Yeah. Can you drag that point of willpower out? Uh, oh, I was just tracking it on my sheet. Hang on. Oh, I had a lot less willpower than I would have figured. Never mind. That probably wasn't a great move. Stupid well, cheat. I probably went with Will My willpower is you. All right, so then that is uh, that plus three plus four plus six. I'm not going to be hubris would say this gets it, but, you know, I'm confident. Oh, you just... Very oh, wow. And so an, And an exceptional. Yeah, good times. So here's the deal. Do, All murder. Yeah. So what you can do is you can um, reduce the number of successes required, but you've, you've exceeded that. You can reduce the amount of time um, that it took, uh, or you can apply the exceptional success result uh, when you complete the goal, which you did. So what we're going to give you is... Um, uh, the condition which is uh, informed. Ooh, I like that. And uh, because you guys cooperated here, I'll give each of you the same condition. You're both informed. You're welcome. Yahtzee. <laughs> All right. And let me just drag her out. And... There you go, and let me copy it. Boom. There you go. So you are both informed. If you hover over, you will see you were both informed about werewolves. If I the character has a breadth of research information based on upon the topic she investigated, if you make a role relating to the topic, you may shed this condition. If the role failed isn't instead considered to have a single success if it's heat of the role is considered an that, exceptional success that may be a useful tool for later i'm inclined to agree for example a character with inform informed werewolves might gain its benefit from using research information to build a silver bear trap with a craft skill okay <laughs> I really like how you've tailored all of these yeah. cards to be specifically yeah. for what it is we're doing. I didn't write them, okay. <laughs> so that's. I don't believe you at all. Yeah, that's... I think you're that you're that committed to the craft. That's yeah, what I'm that good. I can predict it down to it. It almost like manipulating Golgi to you know like ingest some sort okay, of red you know rain. What? We don't need to relive it. That <laughs> thank you very much. Like a. Like a violin, ah, like a fiddle. Fuck you. Go to hell. <laughs> it seems like you're playing on a really like linear track game, and it's just, no, you've planned out every single conceivable move. <laughs> That's the worst part. They he, he even said to the others, this is what's going to happen. And they were like, no, 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 Golgoth is not going to go down that route. No, he's too smart for that. I don't think they said too smart, but still. Railroad, where we're going, we don't need roads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right linear no no just yeah. predictable all right so cool so you guys that's a couple hours well worth your while i guess 
And, <clears throat> and um, just as you guys are putting back the books that you found in the rather dusty section of the library, um, Dr. Bridger, what are you doing here so late? I turn around, and who do I see? It's Dr. Irving Blueford. Oh, hello, Dr. Blueford. Uh, I was just doing a little bit of research with my uh, my colleague here, um, uh, Christopher Grayson. He, uh, sorry, Christopher. I'm Grace. I'm Grayson. He's he's Sloan. Uh, Christopher Sloan. Yes, he's the, he's the one of the librarians here. Yes, the librarian. That's right. That's yes. right. Um, what are you looking into? Didn't think you'd be in oh. the the uh, paranormal section. <laughs> really. Well, nor normally I wouldn't. Well, I mean, it's not too far down my route, my uh, my field of expertise. I mean, near Eastern religion primarily. But no, we uh, there was a question that um, somebody had about uh, about um, uh, various creatures that that existed. So we were just kind of trying to find that information for them, or mm. at least our legends. <laughs> yeah, the the professor is uh, uh, well schooled across different religions, and uh, he seemed an excellent source of. Uh, uh, information. Yeah, mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what are you doing here this, this, this late evening? Oh, um, well, I was hoping to uh, take a look at the latest release of the um, the uh, philosophy uh, journal. There, uh, try to oh, get it before. Right, it? Try to get it before um, one of the other faculty members picks it up tomorrow morning. Oh, you should have said. You should have said. I would have just set it aside for you. Uh, unfortunately, when I stopped by earlier, you weren't around. But um, but they they did for me. That's right. I just was walking by and saw. Well, I heard you down here, then saw you down here, and I was wondering what was going on. But um, I feel like Grayson was whooping at, at how excited he was at the research. Oh well, yes, I heard something about it was Edomites. The yeah, it was just yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, Elamites. Thank you very much, Elamites, not Edomites. Elamites. Oh, I was far away. Um, Vegemite, the Vegemite. What? All right. So he and says, me. Um, and he kind of says, "So you heard they found the book?" Uh, yeah, yeah, we did hear that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, have you had a chance to look at it? Uh, no, we, we looked at what was the book, uh, we looked at, well, that's not entirely true. We, we looked at the book at the, uh, uh, the other library, um, you know. I'm just, to, I'm going to try and as sneaky as possible, just kind of, just shut this whole thing down, because yeah, what are you doing? Because do do <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but anyway, we, we, I'll, we I'll just kind of, I'll kind of cut in and say, I'm sorry, I think you've confused some of our reference materials here. Uh word on the street is it was found but oh, yes. it didn't it didn't make it back to it was here it seems to have uh i don't know grown legs and moved off on its own well it's at the other library now isn't it no no it's 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 it was... been removed from that library it was returned to here i'm sorry it was returned to here yes what Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong reference material. The book that had been stolen. The police were here looking, right? A few months ago. It's been returned. Oh. So I'll just look at Christopher and like, oh, here. Eyebrows going up again. It was an anonymous, somebody dropped it off from what I understand. Oh. Well, I, I, then we haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm embarrassed to say that I was totally unaware. Hmm, fascinating. Well, if you happen to take a look, I'd be curious to know what you think of it. And absolutely, yeah. And if you need early access to a uh, a new addition to the library, just please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks. I'm just going to go grab the journal now, if I can. Have a good night. Yep. And good night. He, yeah. You as well. Walks off. And... So I'm going to look over at Christopher. I'm going to look at Christopher and go, we need to see that goddamn book. Yeah, that's that's not 
and I'm going to look around and very quickly gauge, you know, the amount of people around and not even finish the thought and just kind of put away the books that I had and then, or that we had. Yeah, I'll do this. And then head in that direction. As will I. All right. You guys go up to the um, reserved section and, uh, and you go into that back room where they, it's all sealed off, Christopher, because you know how to get access there and everything. Mm-hmm. And you see that vent that was, you know, ajar months ago. We're that, not discussing uh, the vent. I know. This is a, this, you get know, away from that the had, vent. this one had the dirt and the leaves and everything in it. Uh, whereas yeah. the one that was downstairs did not, but you guys went through the one downstairs oh, so many months ago. Uh, now you can't help but kind of just peer through the, the vent a little bit and see that it's clean in there dark and clean Mm -hmm. like all vents should be and yeah sitting on the shelf is the book the same book that you're pretty sure is in the possession of (laughs) finney back in his back in his safe and i'm gonna look at grayson and then again with the appropriate prophylaxis as supplied by the library throw some silk gloves on and take book to table and open it up i'll do the same thing i'll get some gloves and walk over with them all right jumping over to Vinny and elliot you guys pull up to the uh the uh mall and um yeah you make your way in you make your way over to the the store that um that karen bought stuff at it's a it's a like a makeup sort of thing and you guys are looking deeper into the uh right looking for clues here i want to go and uh and uh, talk to somebody. Do you want to try and see some security footage? What are you kind of thinking? Well, is there, an, is there a, a, t- uh, a name of the store on that receipt? Yeah, it's some makeup store. Yeah. Yeah, let's hit that up and look like we're browsing. And then maybe uh, talk to someone who may know a little more. Maybe a cashier or something. Or, or um, someone who's working there. We're going to go and browse in a makeup store. Yeah. You and me. Well, if you want me to do it, I can do it. I can say it's uh, for my girlfriend. I'm thinking I'd just go talk to a manager, but uh, you do you, I guess. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, well, you go talk to the manager, and I'll do that. All right. So let's let's make this um, a little bit simpler. So how do you guys want to go about? Yeah, I'll go up to the cash. Okay. You just want to talk to the, the cashier. Okay, cool. Uh, Elliot, are you going to look for... Well, I want to... Just... Go ahead. Sorry, I'm just going to talk to the cashier and be like, you know, is the manager available? Um, mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm kind of looking for a person and your security footage might be able to help. Okay, so you're looking I'm at... I'm going to look... Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. I'm going to look at the receipt and see what she bought and go into that section where it may be there. Maybe I'll find someone who could help me. Okay, so you you both want to look at different things. It sounds like Elliot wants to talk to personnel, whereas Vinny, you want to take a look at video footage, right? Yes. Okay. Unless so I want to use the date the date stamp and the timestamp from the receipt and whatever cash register it went through, because I'm assuming they'd have a camera by the. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Cash registers. Yeah. Sounds good. So. Um, that's cool. Um, so we'll start with Elliot. Elliot, you're going to um, into that section. You do find somebody that's going to be like, "Hey, can I help you?" And you want to talk to them about stuff, right? That's your. That's yeah, kind of exactly. how you. Okay, so give me a dice pool that you're going to try to use to get a clue out of this. What's the What's the clue that you're hoping to find? Uh, that the person that had that uh, maybe had seen Karen. Uh, or maybe she had a conversation with Karen, or maybe it could be a, like knows hopefully I don't know, maybe knows the whereabouts of her, but like her movements, or maybe overheard her talking to somebody, yeah. or she was okay. Somebody. So if you're successful, what do you get? 
That's that's what I want you to think about. What am but, I getting? So uh, you're gonna basically no. Yeah, but okay. if you're successful, th- what what do you get? Think about that. But don't you don't have to tell me right now. Yeah. Uh, we'll find out if you're successful. Okay. So you're gonna use kind of like a manipulation sort of thing, like manipulate this person for information. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And with which with which skill? Persuasion. Okay. Cool. So this is the first time you've used manipulation plus persuasion. So that's cool. Um, Mm -hmm. The scene is over a week old. Um, However, you are, you're going to probably do, you're probably going to be a little tenacious in your questioning here. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Yeah. I'm going to say you're, are you going to use any willpower on this? Yes. Okay. Cool. So with that, your total is going to be minus one to that pool. Then, cool. Successes. There you go. You got yourself a clue with one element. Oh, I could fast talk that through too. Oh, whatever. What's that? Can I roll the other extra die. Can I roll the extra die. You mean for the uh, with the email? With fast oh, with fast talking. With fast- you can roll it, yeah. If you get a ten, eventually. I mean, it's not going to make no. Oh. Okay, yeah. So two success still get you a single clue with an element. And now I said, think about what that success looks like. What is that? What information did you get specifically? Not what they could have given you or something like that. What did they give you? What did they tell you? What direction would they have I pointed you? Them. Yeah, um, exactly. I want like maybe a place that they were going to next, or a place that uh, she was heading to when using this makeup for. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, um, yeah. So, uh, she remembers her, she had a conversation with her kind of what she was getting all done up. And, um, and she said that, um, you know, her boyfriend was taking her out to dinner and, um, and she says he was a really good looking guy, um, a little bit older than her, but, um, but uh yeah they were they were here kind of spending some cash and um yeah said they were going to uh to go out for and she lists a restaurant right that they were going to go to an italian place and yeah. she describes the gentleman as well okay yeah he's a and, like, uh, like uh he was wearing a football jacket you know football okay. yeah was he like Caucasian? Oh yeah, yeah. Asian? A handsome boy. He was yeah. Caucasian and Asian. Caucasian. <laughs> okay, sorry. No, it's okay. Okay, interesting. Okay, so and um, interesting. Okay. Go on, go on. And this, and they said where? Which is an Italian place? You said. Yeah, she gives you the name. She said they mentioned uh, you know Luigi's or something like that in in in, in Little Italy. Mean- yeah. She seemed happy, or was she like just going along? With it? She seemed scared. I'm just curious. Oh no, she was she was really happy. She was really happy. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. Cool. All right. So, Vinny, before you can actually um, do any sort of security check to get into this, to take a look at somebody's security footage, you're going to have to convince them to let you do it. Obviously. Yeah. And that's not going to be a, an easy thing. Um, so <clears throat> these, uh, yeah, these folk are, are going to be a little reluctant to let just some dude, uh, take a look at the security footage here. So I'm going to say you don't have a, uh, I'd say you have just an average, an average reputation, right? That you would get one chance a week to convince people that uh, they should let you take a look at their video footage. So, um, I'm going to spend willpower on whatever role I have to do here. That's fine. We need to just kind of um, take a look at what this would be. It's going to be. Um, I was thinking. I was thinking, sorry, I was thinking when I'd go up and talk to the, uh, um, you know, talk to the manager and, and that sort of thing, I'd try and say that it's, you know, our family is 
you know, track, trying to track down like our, my niece and try and make like a family connection and all that kind of stuff. Oh, sure. Um, yeah. You're going to, you know, and um, yeah. just kind of make a, make a BS story like that. Yeah, that's fine. And, um, you know, that's, that's fine. You, so these are the, again, these are the sorts of things you're doing a social maneuvering role here. All right. And, um, so if you click on that thing, you can see what the sorts of things are. The guy's going to have a decent, um, you know, a decent, uh, resolve or composure. So which two we'll say, but he's also going to be motivated. He's always got the aspiration of doing a good job. So he's going to have at least three doors to, uh, to, that you're going to have to open. Okay in order to get him to give you what you want. Right now you have an average, you're nobody to this guy. You know, you're slightly above hostile, right? Like there's a chance that you can talk this guy into it, but it, you get one roll a week right now. If you want to modify his impression of you, you have to offer something that tar attempts his vice, but you don't necessarily know what his vice is. Um, or you can try to offer some sort of soft leverage, like, you know, I'll give you 50 bucks, which would basically, or something, well, or 500 bucks or something like, I'm going to give up my, my dot of resources for this, you know, this particular session, right? I'm going to use my dot of resources. That could be something that would bring you from average to good, you know, but there's, those are the sorts of things that you're going to be able to, um, to affect right now with role playing though, we can, we can try to bring you up to good. What are some of the things that you would want you saying that you wanted to, you know, try to convince this guy? Yeah, so I'd, yeah. I'd try and try and target his heartstrings that it's like, you know, I'm trying to trying to get, you know, track down my niece and all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, whatever else from there, you know, she's she's kind of been been MIA for a week. We found this receipt at her, you know, at, at an apartment that she shares with some friends. Uh, they haven't seen her, all of that kind of stuff or, you know, and, and just kind of, you know, and saying like, it'll only be 15 minutes. Like if you have the footage, we can just kind of go to that, that day, that time. It, it should only be a couple of seconds of, you know, while she was at the cash and then, and then I'll be out of the door. Like, I just want to see who she was with and, um, you know, maybe get a description on what she was wearing and, yeah. and that okay. sort of thing. That's cool. So you've got the receipt. This makes it look legit. You give them a decent story. You got the kid that you probably refer to, right? It was, you know, his girlfriend or something like that, you know, or his sister or his cousin, or whatever it happens to be, right? You give them the sob story. So that's a that's a decent note to get you to good where you can make one roll a day, right? Um, if you want to, you can make a roll to push it to excellent, a social roll of some sort to try to convince him that you're legit. Or that, you know, um, you tug on his heartstrings or whatever it happens to be. I try to... Could I do an, an a manipula uh, sorry a manipulation and an empathy? Yep, you can do that. Can I spend willpower on that to try and get it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Three successes. Cool. Can you just drag your willpower out there? Yeah. For some reason, it selected my character sheet in the background here. Oh, that's, that's okay. There we go. And um, I'm going to just give a resisted roll here um, just because, uh, or you can re-roll with his um, resolve as a penalty, but it's up to you. Oh, okay. It's my, it'd be a what's, minus, what's it'd be a result? minus, it'd be a minus two penalty. So your modifier would have only been a plus one, or I can make a roll of resolve plus composure as a, opposed roll your choice you keep your three successes uh, make a roll or you re-roll with the with the penalty we're resolving composure roll for him yeah okay so you got one success which is enough yeah. that'll bring you to um to excellence you can make a roll an hour here um it's only going to last for a short period of time but um yeah, you can sit there and talk yeah. with the guy. I would say at best, at best, you're going to be able to get two roles in. At best, you're going to be able to talk to the guy. You know, if he, you know, you make some headway, you go like, okay, well, we're going to go shop and I'll be back in a bit. See if he changed your mind sort of thing. If you didn't unlock it all yeah. right away. Now, what you can do is you right. can try to push this all the way to perfect. And then you get one roll per turn. 
but you have to do one of those modifiers. You have to give him some sort of soft leverage or you have to tempt his vice in some way or another. Um, again, soft leverage is the thing you would do if you don't know the guy's vice, right? Yeah, and I don't know, like, if I if I turn around and say, you know what, like, you know, if it if it if it helps me out or anything like that, if we can see her on the cameras and and what she's wearing or who she's with, you know, like, could I say I'll give you like fifty bucks or a hundred bucks or well, something basically, like that? basically, what you would do is you would say here, or, or, or it would just be a dot. I I yeah, yeah it it's represent dot. it's represented by one of your dots of resources. We would reduce your dot of resources down for this this particular chapter, right? So you wouldn't have access to that for this chapter, right? If you needed to buy something, you'd only have one dot of resources, okay? Um, and that would be that would be represented by you essentially giving him a wad of cash, you know, like here, let's keep this between us, right? Yeah. If he accepts the bribe, then you know he lets you, right? That would bump you up to perfect. If he declines the bribe, then it wouldn't. So and it would just keep me where I am at uh, at excellent. That's right. Okay, well let's let's stay where I am at excellent for now. Okay, cool. So at most you're going to get two and rolls. And then if if I if I need to say hey, you know, we'll go do some shopping, come back, then maybe then I'll I'll yeah. try and drive them. Yeah, okay. You could try that. So, um so yeah, so you're going to have three doors that you're going to have to open. Okay? Well, each roll opens up to two doors if you get excellent if you get uh an exceptional success, right? That's when you can open up two doors at once. So you, you typically it'd be three rolls unless you get an exceptional. So um, how you want to? Uh, how do you want to do this? What kind of role do you want to do to convince this guy that you're going to uh, need to right to get him to break? Well, I, I think I want to continue that with like hugging on his heartstrings. Right. And, and some of that stuff that I said where it's, you know, we're just trying to find my niece and or find out who she's with or track her down and all that kind of stuff. Okay. And basically say, you know, you you could, you know, you could help us get some clues and, you know, this would this would really help the family and, and so on and kind of yeah. pump his tires a little bit that it's like, you know, you because you said his his virtue is kind of like doing a good job, right? Well, you don't know. I'm just saying he would have an aspiration to do a good job. Oh, he's, a, okay. he's the manager of a place. So that's yeah. why he gets an extra door. That's all. So I could almost like, you know, pump his tires a little bit to say like, yeah, you, you know, you could be, you know, you could be, you know, like a hero if you, if you help us kind of find her and all that stuff. Well, what will you do? Like, so if you offer him a clear path to achieving an aspiration, it automatically opens up a door. What do you mean? What would I do? So, for example, hey, if we find her, I'll tell your your boss that you were great. You know, you can yeah, get a promotion. I'll, you can I'll, get a promotion, I'll, right? That sort of thing. Like, I'll help you. You know, I'll help you out in that way. Yeah, like I, I'd say to him, like you know, I'd write a letter to your to your boss. You know, I'm, you know, kind of a, a leader in the in the community here in Chicago. Do a lot of volunteering, and I'm involved in a lot of groups. So. That would that would mean a lot. Okay, and I'll say that that will reduce it down to two doors. Okay, so give me give me a, a manipulation plus empathy again. Okay, and I'm it's going to be penalized by power. yeah, going to be penalized by two. So you're going to get a one modifier. Okay. Uh, penalized by two because it's so old. Nope, because um, because that's his uh, resolve. Okay. Yeah. There you go. You open up one door, so that's two, you only have one door left, and you tell him, "Hey, think about it. I'll come back in an hour, or I'll come back. We're gonna do a little shopping. I'll come back." All right. Um. So, um, we can just jump to that second roll if that's the case, unless there's something that you guys needed to actually resolve. No, I think I can just. Okay. I can just jump to the. Okay, I'm going to suggest that you make use of your clue, which is the receipt, to get that extra yeah. bonus die. Okay. So it would be the same. Well, yeah. I just spent. Um, same or different dice pool. Up to you. Same, same thing, manipulation and empathy. 
Yeah. Or do you want to... Um, or do I... Well, you could... Um, you can try to do things like forcing doors, which is intimidating guys, but you can see if this works or not. It's up yeah, to you. I don't, I don't know if I want to intimidate him. I think like, cause if, if I leave and then come back and now I'm going to speak in a different tune. Okay. So you were using right? empathy before you could try switching to persuasion though. Now, right. You could try saying, Hey, you know, start reasoning with him. Right. As opposed to, uh, just, just appealing to emotion. Right. But I, but I say things like, well, you know, why don't you get your manager on the phone and I'll, like your boss on the phone and I'll tell him, you know, what a good job you're doing. Well, you've already, you already played open. that card, right? You already played that to open up yeah. a door. So he's expecting that already, right? He's expecting you to do that if he, if you successfully help him. That's why it already opened up one of the doors. What I'm saying is you can switch right. up your dice pool though. It doesn't always have to be manipulation plus empathy. You can say you know, and start leveling with him, right? That would be persuasion as opposed to empathy. Well, yeah, I'll do that then. Okay. So you're going to be manipulation plus persuasion. You're using your willpower. You have the plus one modifier from the the clue that has, that's incomplete, right? So those... And I'm minus two for his. Right. So you'd be basically manipulation plus persuasion modifiers of two. There you go. So you successfully open up that, um, that door. Well done. Um, he's going to expect you to, to do the things that you said you would. Right. Yeah. And, um, if you don't, then, um, it will close two open doors. Right. And, uh, yeah. and the like. So, um, which means that you probably won't be able to interact well with him in the future, but, um, yeah, he gives you access to take a look at the cameras. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I'll let you make a roll for getting the clue now, which is, you know, can I, when, when he says that, can I kind of be like Elliot, you know, come with me and, and, uh, yeah, if you want whatever. him to see what you see, yeah, sure. Yeah. Like if he wants to help me out with the videos or anything like that. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be an intelligence plus investigation check for the most part. Okay. Yeah. Or yeah. That's basically what you're going to be doing to take a look here. Do I get a bonus because I know exactly what time and date I'm looking for? Yep, for sure. You can have that, but plus one. Okay. And I'll spend willpower as well. Yep. Wow. Well done. Daughter. So, um, yeah, you have an exceptional success. So you find a clue with two elements. Do you have any sort of specialization in investigation? Uh, crime scenes. Cool. So you are a specialist in investigation. Um, and so that means that, uh, now did you use investigation before to get a previous clue? Uh, I think I was investigating to get this receipt. That's right. You did. So when you would be at parents. Child yeah. Treatment. You would be at minus one to use it again, but that's okay. Uh, okay. because you didn't get the specialty die. So that's fine. But because you are a specialist, um, it gives you, uh, yeah, it gives you a clue with normally two elements. This exceptional success gives you a clue with three elements. So, um, you get a crystal clear picture of um of karen who is um looking nowhere near as scared and as frail and as in t uh, as timid as she used to um standing with her at the at the uh at the checkout is a, a handsome young guy you'd probably say you know in his late teens uh he's wearing kind of a varsity jacket sort of thing and uh he pays for the um, he pays for the makeup with uh, with cash, and um, and uh, they're kind of doing the kind of you know we just started dating behaviors, right? He's got his arm on her, or, or you know she's uh, you know smiling up dotedly at him, right? Because she's so you know enamored that sort of thing. 
and uh, yeah, they buy the makeup there and <clears throat> and the like. And you can see um, when he turns around, um, it's got the name of his school on the back, and it's a high school up in Little it Little Italy. Sweet. Um, yeah. it's a generic Little Italy high school. I don't know. I'd have to. I would have to look for Chicago Little Italy high schools, but it is a high school in Little Italy. You okay. would know. So, you know. You know Little Italy yourself, right? You're familiar with the place, so could have even Saint, been Saint Ignatius College Prep. I don't know. I don't know. Is that a school in Little Italy in <laughs> in Chicago? It's, it's it's right across the street from University of Illinois in Chicago. In Chicago. Oh, is it? And it, that's uh, yeah. There you go, preppy. He's a prep school kid. Sure. Cool. There you go. Which means you'll know where to find him because it's only March. All right. Yeah. There we go. Lots of clues. That's good. Um, and lots of clues with actual uh, elements. So that's a that's yeah. a good haul that you guys have made there. And uh, with that, we're going to call it a close for this evening, uh, leaving poor Christopher and Grayson in suspense with the book. And so thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in yet again, for our subscribers. For those of you that have not yet subscribed but will be subscribers, thank you. And um, on behalf of myself, Dark Templar, Vahilo, Teku, and Golgotha, we thank you very much. We are Initiative Zero. Good night.